This, I think, is a very interesting question, and um, I know of three methods for solving it. The normal solutions to the challenge talk about inter the interior angles of a shape. I'm not going to go into details on that. And the extended solutions use something called the external angle theorem. I, in fact, am going to use the idea of exterior angles. When I looked at it, I thought, OK, there's no parallel lines or anything. I'm not going to sort of try and calculate these angles or label them x. What can I see that might help? And I spotted this blue triangle here. And then that this is an exterior angle for that triangle. Okay, that's kind of the definition of an exterior angle. If you just carry on going, then it's the angle formed. It's how much you would turn to keep going around the shape. And this is also an exterior angle. Now, exterior angles always add up to 360. We don't have all three, but what we do have is like a missing one here, which I'm going to label X. So, so far I've got 360 for my exterior angles, but then I'm going to have to subtract X. Okay, now onto the other two angles. In fact, I've got a red triangle here and we can do the same again. This is an exterior angle for that triangle, as is that. And I'm just missing one, this one down here, or equivalently that one there, in fact. See, there's different ways that you can define your exterior angles. Okay, so I'll keep it at that. Um, so for the red one, label this y, it's going to be 360 minus y. But if you look at it, we have a straight line, and x plus y is going to be 180. So the answer to this question is going to be 360 plus 360 minus x minus y or minus x plus y, which is the same as minusing 180. If I do 360 minus 180, I get 180. So it's 360 plus 180 overall, which gives an answer of 540.